I think when most people hear the name Dodge Dart, one of these two images pop in their head. A slow, boring economy car that's honestly just a new version of the Neon, or a sick Hemi-powered muscle car from the late 60s. But there's a lot more to the story than just those two cars. And in this video, we're going into all that, plus a market breakdown in case you wanna buy one for yourself. And don't worry, I'm not even gonna mention that new Dart for the rest of this video. The story begins in 1960, when Dodge unveiled the Dart for the first time. Its purpose was simple, be a low-cost, mid-sized car to sell to the middle class. Yeah, believe it or not, this was considered mid-sized in this era. And even though it sold really well, it wasn't exactly a car guy's dream. While it did look cool, it wasn't groundbreaking in the speed department. But don't worry, the first generation Dart was only made for two years, and the second generation definitely had more to offer. Lean is the word for Dodge, the new lean breed of Dodge for 62. Now guys, the second gen Dart does tend to get mixed reviews today, with some people calling it the ugliest Dodge ever made. Which is a bit harsh, but fortunately looks aren't everything. Because this was the generation that got the legendary 413 engine producing 415 horsepower. Armed with the new engine, the Dart would go on to break a bunch of performance records and cement the Dodge Dart name as a force to be reckoned with on the track. However, 1963 came and with it, a new generation. Generation. The biggest change this time being the styling getting completely redesigned for a sleeker look. And with the new design came a huge jump in sales compared to the previous generation. The sales jump was so big in fact that Dodge decided to make the third generation for four whole years. But unfortunately, throughout this whole generation, the Dart would never receive a big block V8. But that doesn't mean it was gone forever. Because in 1967, at the peak of the muscle car era, Dodge released the fourth generation Dart, widely considered to be the best one ever made. And it was this generation of Dart that would bring the big block back in a big way, with the release of the LO23, a track-only race car that came with the 426 Hemi that, on paper, produced 425 horsepower although the actual number was closer to 500. With this engine and a Dart that after weight reduction only weighed 3,000 pounds, it meant that this car was capable of the quarter mile in the nine second range. The years that followed this were pretty good overall, with many different trims, engines, and even a beautiful facelift in 1970. But the one thing the Dart couldn't outrun was the government, because in 1972, emission laws choked all the power out of them. Now, even though they weren't as fast as they once was, the Dart did keep its nice styling throughout the rest of its original run, even making a special edition Spear to 76 model that honestly looked pretty cool. Now, after hearing all that, there's a good chance you wanna pick one up for yourself. But if you want an early 60s model, you're gonna have to look really hard because they're getting extremely rare. And the late 60s models, while more common, they do tend to be pretty expensive. However, the post-gas crisis darts, or 1972 onward, are not only super common, but they're super cheap as well making them undoubtedly the easiest way you can get a classic dart of your own. Like just take a look at some of these currently for sale. Not only are they cheap compared to earlier models, but just for a muscle car in general, these are an amazing deal. Now I've made quite a few videos on muscle car bargains in the past. And usually whenever I show the cheaper ones, there's always someone in the comments claiming that they're all worthless junk. But these are not. While they could use some TLC, they all claim to run and drive just fine. And based on the pictures, they're not completely rusted into the ground. And that's a pretty good deal for only five or six thousand dollars. But hey, I get it. To a buyer with more money to spend, one of those is not exactly what you're looking for. One of these, however, should fit your needs much better. What we have here is a mixed bag of some that have been restored, some all original, and some somewhere in the middle. One thing they all have in common though is that they're all ready to go the day you pick them up. No TLC needed. But you're gonna be spending at least twice the money of the project darts, so be sure to keep that in mind. And there you have it guys, a legendary muscle car you can still buy for cheap. Thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate the support. Don't forget to press like and if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our new videos. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time.